Welcome to Press Points. I'm Carrie Hatterley and today is January 31st, 2012. In 2010, a group of concerned citizens began organizing food and monetary donations to provide children in Sheridan County with meals over the weekends. The organization, now called the Food Group, and operated as a program out of the Center for a Vital Community, now feeds more than 200 children each weekend. CVC Director Amy Albrecht said most people don't realize the level of hunger in Sheridan County, but children in the community are thankful for the meals. Tongue River Elementary Principal Deb Hoffmeyer said some of the kids have told her that they hide snacks under their beds so they know they will have something to eat on Sunday before they come back to school. Read more about the food group and an upcoming fundraiser for the organization in today's Sheridan Press. In the next two to three months, the City of Sheridan plans to upgrade its software to include an electronic submission program for building permits. According to City staff, the new soft software will allow staff and builders to track their permits through the review process online. The new software is expected to cost approximately $60,000 to get started and $4,800 annually. On the business page today, see how one local company is helping to keep Sheridan businesses competitive globally. Advanced Communication Technologies has built a local fiber optic network connected to a large scale fiber optic network that allows Sheridan businesses to stay connected worldwide. This sort of connectivity is what draws both large and small companies to Sheridan, ACT General Manager Aaron Sopko says. See these stories and more in today's edition of the Sheridan Press or online at thesheridanpress.com.